Okay. Today I would like to demo how to fabricate a occlusal rim or we call record block for the partial denture. So here is after we duplicate the model. Here is the model. So we use the duplicate model as our secondary cast. So we do everything on our duplicate model. So for the low for the upper one, we didn't duplicate for the upper one because this is the immediate. So after we get our duplicate models, so we have to do what? We have to draw our line. We draw the outline first. Always remember, whatever you do, you have to draw the outline first. Draw the outline. Make sure the freedom area, or you have to draw it out. Okay, we draw the outline first. And we draw the denture design. Okay, we draw the flash area. So the flash area from the distal, we draw a line. And then cover until our retromolar pad. For the anterior, we cover the side, fill up the sarcus area. Draw the free number. Okay. Same to this one. So here is our design. So for this one, we there is a ring club here. So we just cover until the mission of the molar. Here is the arm. So we divide our lacquer material into half. Okay, we use half pieces for one arch. Use your finger to thin it up. Okay, make sure the thickness is even. We extend, follow the line, the outline we draw, and for the lingual side, this area you have to cover. Uh, you have to cover on the survey line, on the survey line, or above the survey line. Okay, make sure not under the survey line. If you cover your basically under the survey line, that that might create some space in between. Okay, so for this area, have to clean it up. Follow the. So before we put into the curler machine, the curing machine, the lacquer machine, we have to make sure we adapt. Okay, put inside the lacquer machine and we turn on for five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, make sure you turn to cure the fitting area. For okay, after we cure for the ten minutes, we have to remove our base plate first. For okay. We trim all the sharp edges, just okay. we smooth down all the sharp edges, okay. just round it all around. Okay. Make sure not over trim. Always double check with your models okay. to make sure not to over trim your models. Okay. Double check and trim again. All you want. If you worry you will over trim, you can draw the outline first. Okay? Draw the outline. Mark down the outline. Only. Okay, all the sharp edges. 
and this area you can just go through okay to create the shape the little tight area okay? make sure not to trim your fitting area okay not over trim a fitting area just make sure your bird is straight okay trim the all the excess on it Same to our upper model, maxillary. We first we draw our outline first. Okay, here is the outline. We draw our outline. After that, we adapt the wax. Okay. That one layer of wax. So make sure cover above the on the survey line or above the survey line, okay, the palette part, and then make sure go into the interdental area. So if you can't recover, you can blow it, blow it, and readapt again, or you can add on, add on wax in between interdental area, and then you cuff it back. It's the same same thing. So you just blow it, make sure it's smooth. Okay. After done, our base plate we can adapt our wax strip so there is a mistake here actually you all have to do some undercut scrap mark here for more retention okay you have to do some scratch mark here so make sure you all do the scratch mark okay after that we ready use the ready back rim partial denture the level the height of the level we follow the existing tooth okay the level of the tooth but the thickness we still follow the theory like the anterior is 4 mm the posterior is 1 cm okay we check okay we adapt example for the anterior dip we check the space and then we cut okay for the anterior butt rim we follow the curve the labial support so make sure don't make it straight, okay? Make sure create some curve, some U shape, okay? The proper is from the inside, so papilla, how much? But this one is the lower, so we put on the bridge line. So on the bridge, we draw a line. So follow the curve of the bridge. Same to the posterity. Posterity, if you all still not very really sure, make sure you draw your bridge on the, the middle line, the bridge line, okay? Draw. A line from the tip here to the retrauma pad, so we can it good. We can follow the line and put our uh, to position our rim. Okay. After you sure your rim position, make sure you seal it first. After done, add on all the bags. Okay. We cut using our trowel. Follow the level of the assisting tooth. Okay. We follow the level. Okay. We adapt our wax rim so adjust the shape the size and adapt it so for the this size the rim not too up okay follow the curve of the arch okay after that we seal it we will seal it and we cut using the dropper the same level to the assisting tooth okay okay here is the sample Finish, finishing wax rim. Okay. Make sure all the area is moved. 